Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Looney. I hope you're all doing well. And this evening's video should be quite a good one as I've got a, a quite an array of stuff to look at. I've got some um, Hot Wheels main lines that I picked up this morning after work, after my shift finished. And I've got some vintage pieces and um, I've also got a restoration um, to show at the end. So anyway, there's a little bit of something for everybody in this video. Um, some old, some new and some restored. But anyway, we'll get straight into it and we'll take a look at what I picked up first. So as I said, after work, um, I had to pop to one of my local stores where near, near to where I work. And I first of all came across this 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser in the yellow. So very happy to find that. And this is one that as soon as I've seen it, I can't remember where I've seen it to now before, I thought I wanted to get it because I'd like to do a wheel swap and a detail on this as I like the color. Um, I've just noticed it's got something on that corner. I'm just trying to work out what it is. Ah, it's got a paint run. That's quite funny. I thought it was a little light. Yeah, it's got a little lump there. At least I think it's a paint run. Let me just look off a lot off camera a sec. Yeah, it's a paint error. So anyway, um, that doesn't bother me. But uh, yeah, I'd like to do a wheel swap and a bit of a detail on this one. So do the grill and the lights and um, the engine and other various bits. But I do like this shape. So pretty cool to find it in the yellow. So that is pretty cool. So that's the first piece that I found. And as I said, when I was out um, in this particular store shop, I wasn't looking to buy anything um, particularly. I also found this 70 um, Dodge Hemi Ch Challenger, sorry, in green, which is pretty cool. And again, um, I thought about doing something with this, but to be perfectly honest, um, I actually like it as it is. I actually like it as it is with the wheels and the colour and everything, to be honest. Um, I may at some point just do the light detail on it. And leave it alone as I thought I said I think it looks pretty cool I do like these like I've said before many times this steel effect wheels that Hot Wheels do but uh, so pretty cool so like I said a little bit of details on the outside lights and that will be perfect I think so that was the first two pieces that I picked up earlier and then um, Whilst I was, like I said before, sometimes after work on a Saturday, I do go, I come across a, um, a it's like a, a flea market, uh, open air flea market, and he has all manner of um, vintage pieces, anywhere from £20, he has a £20 sort of area, he has £5 cars, and he also has um, £2 cars, and he has a box of cars that are like, um, you know, just bits mainly. <laughs> and they're usually like 50p a go. But anyway, I found some really cool pieces in the £2 um, box this week. So we'll take a look at um, what I picked up. So the first piece I got for £2 was this um, Badger. And like I said, I've done nothing to this yet. It was a Rollomatics Badger. Um, it could do with a bit of a bit of a clean, just get the dust off really. But for £2, this is in really good condition. And I sometimes wonder why he sticks these in the £2 section, to be honest. Because, you know, it's, it. From, I mean, like I said, I, it's got hardly any marks on it. This is what I call, this is a prime example of what I like to call a survivor car. A car that's seen a bit of action, seen a bit of playtime, but it's, it's managed to last. It's got a little bit of wonk to the wheel, but I can straighten that no problem off camera at some later point but like i said it's a it's a it's a cool thing i do have if i just bear with me a second i do have the other version there's a few different variations of it so this is a, this is one i picked up a car boot sale a, quite a while ago now and i paid about two pound for this funnily enough and as you can see it has got some paint chipping but again it's not in bad condition it's 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 above play worn so, but anyway, this is the one we're looking at. Um, 
this was these. I think this these were the later ones. I think these were bordering on about 1980. These particular ones. So I found the badger first, and then I found this really cool little tank with its tracks still, which, which haven't rotted to pieces yet, which is unusual. They do still move. I think if you, it does actually make the gun go up and down. The tracks are a little bit stiff, but like I said, they are. I can't see any splits in them, which is unusual from something that's, you know, sort of 78 copyright. So probably would have come out about 1918, 1979. But this one's known as the sort of look SP gun. Is that right? SP gun. So anyway, happy to find this. Um, not really a military collector, but I've just ended up coming across these. And the, and the main reason I was happy to find these two particular pieces is because in my collection, I do have, I think this one's the weasel. And this particular one, I've actually got the box to it still. And I, and I found this still blistered. So, and I got this for a fiver quite a, a couple of years ago now. I've shown this before a few times in the past, but this is the weasel, which I'm just in the rollomatics is they are working, it's a bit slippery. Let's try that way. Should. There you go. So I've got this. I've got a newer version of this as well. I've actually got a, um, a lot newer version of this in a, I think it's a Tyco five pack, quite a few years later after this. But this is obviously the original. So that's pretty cool. And I've also got the Scout car. And again, this this was I've had this. I bought this in its blister pack still, so I was the first person to open these two particular pieces. These 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 two were the first two pieces I came across, and just mainly bought them just because they were in such nice condition. So, again, all from the same sort of era, sort of about 1980, 79, 80. And then I've also got this. I've got two of these, funnily enough. I've got one in slightly tattier condition. Not much. I think the sticker's missing. Uh, maybe a chip on the side. But um, I've got this. And again, this is from the same sort of era. Same sort of uh, set, I believe. So this is obviously a little Jeep. Little, uh, I think it's a Willy's Jeep. So a little look upside down. Number two, it just says Jeep. But again, I come across this at a car boot sale. So now I've got all this little, almost got the set now. I can't remember how many there is to collect, but I've now got this little army set coming along quite nicely, which is pretty cool. And they're all in nice condition. These two are mint, these, the, and these three uh, are near enough. So that was a good find. And like I said, these two on the end, two pound a pop. So you cannot grumble. So we'll put them aside. Uh, I came across another caravan. I got a thing for caravans. I don't know why, but again, this was two pound. It's not too bad. It does say on tow, has a little opening feature, as you can see. No interior, as this is from about 1960, so it's in pretty good condition for its age. I have got a little bit of repair work to do on it, as as the hook or the bit where you would, uh, attach it to your car has gone. I didn't realise that until I bought it. But I, was, I still would have bought it anyway, as uh, it will still display quite nicely. But I will repair that at some point. It's not a big issue. So that's another little caravan to my caravan collection. Uh, what does it say? Number 23, Bluebird. So that was cool. And then the last of the vintage bits is this really little cool Husky. And... This is a prime example of being transported back to your past. Um, I had one of these in this colour when I was about, I don't know, six, something like that. And uh, I think I got it out of a Lucky Dip box as this actual casting um, came out about 1965-ish, 60, 66, something like that. So it's an old piece. And uh, like I said, I completely forgot I ever had one. I, I just didn't remember. And as soon as I seen this and I picked it up, I actually thought it was a matchbox at first. And then I seen these little plastic back doors and I was basically, let's see if we can get them open a second, hang on, propelled back to my childhood. And I suddenly remembered that I had one of these and I used to like stuffing 
bits of plasticine and bits of broken up matchstick and stuff in the back and see how much I could get in there. Uh, this is based on the, I think it's a Ford Te uh, Thames, a little look, it should say Ford Thames van, and it's in pretty good nick. Uh, this would originally had a ladder on the top and a little aerial, I believe it was either, I'm not sure if it was a GPO van or if it was a TV repair van, I'm not quite sure now, <laughs> but it is in very good condition for its age, um, Husky as far as I, as I can remember, these were made by, um, I've got to try to remember the name of the company now, Metoy, Metoy was the name of the company, and um, Metoy also made Corgi. So these aren't, um, these are loosely related to Corgi, uh, a bit like Mattel that owns Hot Wheels and makes Matchbox. Metoy made Corgi and also made uh, Husky brand. But I think Husky was meant to be like a cheaper alternative to the original Matchbox because a lot of the Husky toys are quite small and this is quite small. But it is in remarkably good condition because a lot of these had little plastic grey wheels, very flimsy plastic bases and the die cast themselves wasn't all that thick as a lot of the time they used to snap on the pillars. But it does still roll, it has still got its suspension. So I was really happy and I just like I said, it, it, it's the way these things make you feel. As soon as I picked it up and realised it wasn't a matchbox, then I suddenly remembered I had one of these. So I had to get it. So that's cool. So that are my vintage pieces. That's probably my favourite today. And the last piece we're going to take a look at is something I've been working on for the last sort of couple of days on and off. It wasn't a particularly hectic build, but I will show you what it looked like before I started. So just bear with me. And here it is now. So it is the, I forgot what this is called now. It, sh, it is the, it's a little look. It just says Matchbox Series. I know it is a wrecker truck. So as you can see, I didn't, I didn't bother. I have been asked to make, show what I do and I, and I will do in the future. I will do um, like a tutorial showing the step-by-step I've almost got my shed finished now. I've got a new, I'm setting myself up a little spray area and work area now in, in a shed. So I will start doing some filming and showing what I do. But but as you can see, it was in a bit of a tired state. Um, it had no hook on the back. The hook was got, well, the hook was there, but it was all broken and the light was all chipped and the glass was all scratched and it was pretty tired. So all I did was strip it down, obviously, Gave it a coat. Now, I, I didn't have any red here. I was thinking about doing it BP colours, and then I thought about doing it SO colours. So I thought, no, I've got yellow and white at the moment. Let's do it in a shell livery. So obviously it's had a paint. Shell tampos on the side and the front, as you can see. And obviously, again, around this side. And a little miniature one on the back, underneath the hook. There you go. But simple. So this is technically classed as a custom still because it's not its original colour. But I didn't want to do any detail on it. So no rear lights and no front lights. I just wanted it restored. And um, I, gave the, I gave the wheels a re-chrome. So basically it's had a good clean up and a re-chrome and a repaint. So and uh, obviously the lights now being painted red rather than the original sort of uh, greeny blue colour window. So I'm really happy and it rolls nice now. So that is that. So, so that is today's video. Like I said, something for everybody, bit of, bit of uh, old, bit of new. And um, like I said, this awesome little wrecker truck at the end. But anyway, with that, please like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more vintage pieces and wheel swaps and uh, restorations and customs and all that good stuff to come. Um, I've got a... I've, I've, I've finished my Maple Leaf um, Anniversary Invitational Porsche build, but I will probably show that closer to the time. I'm itching to show it because I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The paintwork has turned out awesome on this particular one, but like I said, I want to leave it a little bit closer to when it's uh, more the time to show the cars. But anyway, with that, I'll see you all very soon. Thank you for watching.